Okay, guys. I don't know how this is going to work. Got uh, made myself a uh, camera stand here. Yeah, I'm too cheap to buy one. I'll show you what I made. Out of a hanger. You know, I won't. Uh, I'll wear my elbows out before I have to buy shoes. That's what my wife says, at least. Um, had a few requests on roof chopping. I'm not an expert on roof chopping, but the way I do it seems to work. So, I'm not going to cut the roof on this pretty little impala here, but I will use this as a guide. And then I will show you the Riviera and how it has to be done to proceed. Um... Okay, what you're gonna first you want to do is you want to figure out what chop you want to do. Do you want to do one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch? Okay, my experience in doing this, every car is different. This is a one twenty fifth scale. The um, let's see, what is the Riviera is a one twenty fifth. Okay, the Riviera is a 125th scale, okay, and this one's a 125th scale, and that doesn't look, I mean, this looks so much bigger than the Riviera, um, and it says 125th on it, so, you know, I think the scales really are not precise, so, that you have to take that into consideration, so, what I normally do is I'll go, being, if you know cars, you look at your your molding. Your molding in real life, that molding is about an inch wide. Okay, so you get your micrometer, you measure that. That one inch on this car seems to come somewhere about 0.017 or 0.17, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I take that times three. And it gives us right around 50. Okay. So, um, what I did, actually it's 50, 50 point something, you know, and these things are so touchy, you move it just a hair. And that's in millimeters. So it's like 5.9. Uh, 5.09, something like that. Um, <clears throat> So three times seventeen, you can figure it out. Sim simple, simple, simple. Um, so and that, you know, if you hold the micrometer up, let me flip this around so I can get it in there. It looks, it almost looks like about a three-inch cut right there. Maybe a little bit more, maybe three and a half, something like that. So you know, you adjust to what you think it is. Okay, you can be precise and go online and get the exact measurements, but who, are they going? Anybody going to notice? Probably not. Uh, one inch to scale. I just looked it up online, and it's like point oh point zero two zero. So, you know, it's like minute. It's the thickness of a fingernail. So, anyway, what you want to do is you you determine what your cut is. Okay. Um, on this particular car, what you'd probably want to do is you want to take out your three inches in the center of the front post. Okay? This particular car, you can save the wing window because it's a squared off wing window. Okay? When you come to the back, what you want to do you want to do your cut up here on the top okay now every car is going to be different you may have the option to do this in the back also if it will match up okay but doing it this way here is going to give you the option of heating down here and bending this downwards so you really don't have to do that much cutting on the roof itself so because this is just a straight drop 
when you have a drop like this here, it moves the whole the whole dimension of the roof, you know, because you have your cut back here that makes your roof move backwards, and then you got your cut here that makes the front of the roof move forward. So now your roof is separating. This one here, it's not separating. If it if it does, it would be minute. You know, you'd probably maybe, maybe have to cut the roof in half across this way here. Like so. And add a piece of styrene in. But not much. Um, that's the good things about, as you can see, this, this one here, this post broke and I was in the middle of repairing it. But um, that's the good thing about having an up and down, straight up and down um, post on a roof chop. That's why a lot of people like chopping the roofs on the, um, on the, the, the old pickups. In real life, that's easy, easy roof chopping. Um, you get into something like the Riviera. All right, you, you see what I'm talking about on this one here. So what you would do is you would you would heat you would heat here very carefully, indirect heat, or even a like a soldering iron, just touch it, and then you can bend it down, and that will make that. As you see how that roof flexes, bend it down, and then you match this back up with the roof. Um, and when you do that matching, what I do is I use these here. Let me get a measurement on these for you. Um, these are styrene strips, and they are, let's see, the model number is uh, item number 126. The model number is um, 87026. Um, and it's 0 0.020 by 0.125. Okay, let's focus. Does I want to focus? There you go. You can see that. But these are, they're about uh, 18 inches long. And what I would do in this case here is take your styrene. You see that? It's almost exactly the size of your post. Glue a piece onto the roof first. Okay, on both sides once you get your chop done. Same thing on this stand-up post. Glue a piece inside the car and standing up. And then you can take your roof, add your section in here if you need to. Um, like I said, on this one, I don't think you have to do a, 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 an actual roof cut because if you look at the car, let's see if I can tilt this phone up a little bit. If you look at the car that way, it's pretty square with the, with the posts. If you've got posts that are spread out. See how this has got a little bit of a spread on it, but this one you can bend a little bit. So, you know, when you have posts that are, I'm gonna use this piece of styrene to show you. If you have posts that are doing this here, let's see, that are doing this, that are leaning really far in. Right, let's see. If you're leaning like that, then you're going to have to do some cutting on the roof to get everything symmetrical. So that gives you an idea of, I guess, a, I would call this a square roof chop. It's just a straight shot, drop down roof chop, and then you just glue your roof back in. If you have to do the cut across, once you get that cut across, you open it. To the length that you need it you know you could put a piece of tape in there and test fit it and then once you get it tape the outside of the roof take the roof off flip it over and then you're going to lay, lay some square stock let's see we got a piece here get a piece of square stock so iron cut it to size and then glue it in there and you want to use thin stuff you don't want to use this real heavy this heavy thick stuff you want to use some i guess i guess like this here this is a lot a lot thinner there you go and you would glue that across or put a couple of supports and then you would use your filler to fill that in um, 
Just take your time on it. Measure as many times as you can and cut once because you cannot um, you cannot go back once you do it. So that's that type of chop. Now on this one here, let me get a piece of uh, a paper here so I can just give you a rundown of what what we did on this roof. Okay, this one turned out to be a five inch roof chop. Four and a half to five inches. I wanted it really dramatic, okay? So I took out quite a bit. And as you can see on the roof, look how much I had to take out of the center and over here. Now this roof is just cut in an X and that's how much of a spread happened. Let me adjust this phone real quick here again. I'm trying to get a little bit more into the picture. There we go. I think that's... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this cut was straight down the center and then straight down the center this way. And then you spread your pieces out. Like I said, just like I did, like I said on the other one. You take your pieces. Now this I tacked it on with some hot glue, and then I taped the whole top so that I could lay my styrene down, okay? Now that roof is just taped in there right now, okay? So I laid the styrene down on the inside, and you can see what I did there. I put a big piece in the middle, and then I supported all four corners. There we go. Let me take that off so you can see it, okay? And then what I will do with this, I will put it on a piece of... Um, What do you call it? It's not saran wrap, but um, wax paper. And I'll mix up epoxy. And I will pour epoxy in here so this all becomes smooth. And then I can grind it, shape it, whatever way I want. This side here, once the other side is done, this side here I'll use Bondo on this um, as my filler. And then I can get all my edging to where I want it and the shape I want it in. Once that is done, we'll place it on the car. Now see, like I was saying on the other one, you see I added this thin styrene on the posts on both sides here. And in the back, I just used tape. So when these little bits of the post that did not get cut off, that's why you want to cut them in the center so that you have something to hold against. See, those pieces slip right over that. And that gives you the opportunity to have something to hold that roof on. So, <clears throat> it's easier to fill everything on the car with the roof off, on the roof. Okay, fill all your... You're underneath and everything. To do it with the roof on the car is a real pain in the neck. So fill the inside of your roof. If you want to do the outside afterwards, that's fine. I prefer to do it off. Not messing with these cuts. Okay. Um, yeah, not messing with these cuts here. So that I can... Um, so I can fill that afterwards. Once everything is done, this way I can glue... Um, actually, on, on a roof chop like this, we'll do epoxy because it's going to hold better. And, you know, if you use glue, it's just going to keep breaking and breaking and breaking. And you're going to get frustrated and you're going to throw it. So. Just to go over. Measure. This one was like a half ass chop. I just said, you know, I'm going to chop the roof and zzz, 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 nothing straight and doesn't matter because it's all going to be cut up. So, you know, normally I work a lot cleaner than this. But, you know, sometimes you just want to get something done. So anyway, measure as many times as you can. Mock it up as many times as you can before you start gluing. Because once you start gluing, now you, you know, you try tearing this stuff off once it's on there. 
and it's not going to come off too easy, and then you're going to wind up with no roof and a convertible with just uh, or just two posts sticking up with a windshield. I've done that many times, and you know I I I fly by the seat of my pants on these things. It's like like with the muscular dystrophy build. When I started building that, I knew I was building this car, but I didn't know what I was doing to it until the moment that I'm doing it. You know, it comes into my head. Damn, this will look great. Let's try that. Okay, same thing with, with this with this uh, Riviera. I was pondering roof chop. You know, I was kicking it back and forth. Roof chop, not roof chop. Roof chop, not roof chop. And then this morning, I just said, you know what? Time to chop the roof. Did my measuring, and there you have it. Um, and that's 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 just how I fly, you know. Um, areas like this here, you have to mold that. You know, so once all of this is glued on, and I have my filler on the roof, then you can go back in and address areas that you need to. And all of this here is going to be smooth. It's going to be smooth like glass when it's all done. I even left these little stubs here for the wing windows because I may even add them back in. So, you know, I may add them back in. I may take it out completely, move it back a little bit, make it wider to change the appearance of the car a little bit. But I'm going to do that. Um, also, when you're doing a chop, <laughs> keep an eye on what type of seats you're putting in. So sometimes the seats are going to hit the roof. you got to think about that. You may have to shorten the seats. You may have to shorten the tub. Just like I said, with this one, what I want to do is I want to take the chassis and inset the chassis a little higher. But see, I can't go too much higher because I'm almost at the top already, at least in the back. You know, there's there's my that's where my my tubs go right now. So you gotta you gotta take into consideration your interior, your your wheel wells. Um, you know, up here in the front, you gotta take into consideration this here, and it's gotta all be trimmed down. And you gotta figure out what type of drop you want in there. You want one inch, two inch, three inch, and you gotta take that material out to make the bottom fit. So there's, there's a lot of measuring and stuff like that. But for the roof chop, you see how it's done. It's it's not hard. You just have to say, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice a model. If it comes out great, great. If it doesn't come out great, I learned something. I learned where my mistake was or I did it awesome and now I can do it again. So, you know, that's, that's the only way you're going to learn. You know, it's, it's like when I was a DJ, everybody used to say, oh, I want to learn how to mix like you. I can tell you how to do it, but you have to go and do it to learn. And that's, that's all there is to it. There's no magic. There's no tricks or anything like that. You just have to, you know, tighten your belt and say, here we go. So enough of this babble. <laughs> I feel like a damn school teacher. <laughs> But um, I hope this helped help some of you guys out. Um, I know I had a, f a you know, I, I, I didn't read my messages when I did the roof job. So I should have done that and recorded it live so that you could see the actual thing happen. On the next one, I promise I will do a live video on it. And then you can go back to it for ref references. And we'll pick a cool car. And you know, I was looking up here to see if there was something else I wanted to chop the roof on. But there's not really anything that I want to chop the roof on, so... I'll have to buy a kit that I can do a good roof chop on. So I promise the next video, the next roof that I chop, I will do a, a live stream or just a strict video on that. Maybe I'll do multiple parts and uh, this way you can see how it's done live. So, you know, this is sort of getting you to where you need to be. Um, if I can answer any questions, shoot me a message. There's no wrong questions. Um, there's no wrong answers either. <laughs> Unless you say, I'm going to get a hammer and smash this. That's a wrong answer. Keep trying. So anyway, Godfather Custom. With a roof chop tip. What does uh, Charlie Max says? If you don't try it, you can never be wrong. Or uh, He says something. <laughs> 
All I know is I'm just waiting for another cooking video from him. He had some lame excuse about stabbing himself in the leg on Saturday, so. Next week, we have to have some cooking, Charlie, so you. No more dropping scissors. You scared the shit out of all of us. <laughs> all right, guys, you have a great day, and uh, talk to you soon. Godfather Custom signing off.